If you have diabetes, your body does not use or store sugar properly. This can cause changes in your veins, arteries, and capillaries that carry blood throughout your body, including your eyes. These changes can adversely affect your vision. There are two types of diabetic retinopathy in which vision loss occurs. One type is called non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or NPDR. Another type is called proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or PDR. With non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, or NPDR, damaged blood vessels in the retina begin to leak fluids, including small amounts of blood, into the retina. Sometimes deposits of fats may leak inside the retina. These deposits are called hard exudates. With macular edema, fluid leaking from the retinous blood vessels can cause the macula to swell or thicken. Because the macula is responsible for our central or pinpoint vision, macular edema interferes with clear vision. Macular ischemia occurs when small blood vessels close. In this case, your macula is affected because it no longer receives enough blood to work properly. During an eye exam, your ophthalmologist will dilate your pupils and examine your retina. Because certain conditions with NPDR, such as macular edema and macular ischemia, occur inside the layers of the tissue of the retina, it may be recommended that you have a procedure called fluorescein angiography, or another called optical coherence tomography, known as OCT. These diagnostic procedures allow your ophthalmologist to see blood vessels within the retina. With PDR, many blood vessels in the retina close, preventing adequate blood flow to the retina. The retina responds to this problem by trying to grow new blood vessels. However, these new abnormal vessels do not provide proper blood flow. They can also bleed as well as lead to scar tissue, which may cause the retina to wrinkle or even detach. If similar vessels grow abnormally in the front of the eye, they can block the drainage channels of the eye and cause high pressure and possibly glaucoma. Both central and peripheral vision can be affected by PDR. In many cases, the progression of diabetic retinopathy can be controlled using laser surgery. Laser treatment is usually performed in an office setting. For comfort during the procedure, an anesthetic is applied to the eye. For macular edema, the laser is focused on the retina around the center of the macula. The laser is not applied directly to the center of the macula, as this would reduce central vision. The main goal of treatment is to seal off leaking blood vessels that interfere with proper function of the macula. With laser surgery for PDR, the laser is applied to the peripheral retina, avoiding the central macula. This laser treatment, called PRP, or panretinal photocoagulation, and also known as scatter photocoagulation, causes the blood vessels to shrink and often prevents them from growing again in the future. It also decreases the chances of the blood vessels bleeding into the vitreous or causing retinal detachment. In some cases with PDR, if there is bleeding into the vitreous, a procedure called a vitrectomy may be needed. Vitrectomy surgery is usually performed in the operating room on an outpatient basis. An operating microscope and small surgical instruments are used to enter the inside of the eye. Blood and scar tissue are removed. At the same time, laser may be used to prevent further bleeding and abnormal blood vessel growth. It should be remembered that the main goal of treatment for diabetic retinopathy is to prevent further vision loss. Total blindness is uncommon if retinopathy is treated early. Remember that treatment does not cure retinopathy, but it is effective in preventing further vision loss. Most people with diabetes can retain useful vision. Your ophthalmologist can often diagnose and treat retinopathy before you even notice any vision problems, so it's important that you keep regular appointments with your ophthalmologist to help prevent vision loss. These appointments should be at least once a year, or more frequently depending on the severity of your eye problems. Also, if you have any changes in your vision, you should call your ophthalmologist right away. If you have diabetes, you can significantly lower your risk of vision loss by maintaining strict control of your blood sugar level. To find out more about diabetic retinopathy and how to maintain your vision, talk with your ophthalmologist.